If you have enough time to make five different meals, you have enough time to go to a gym. All right, so we've made it to week four, and as promised, I would like to talk to my family and my Rocky here. <laughs> so let's let's tell the nice people at home how bad it's been with me just following a meat-based diet for you two. Oh, it's been terrible. The worst. Yeah, my life is I ending. I honestly don't know how much longer I can yeah, handle I it. I don't know. The struggle's been real. Yeah. I've cried myself to sleep every night. What's what's been the hardest part of of me adapting a new lifestyle for the next forty five days? Well, for the next twenty something days. It's tearing up the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can't eat my leftover vegetables. <laughs> yeah, you can't eat her leftovers, so I have to now. <laughs> yeah. I hate when that happens. No, you can stay in my life so, so tell the nice people how how aggressive I've been with making you adhere to my lifestyle choices. So aggressive. Like, I've been sent to my room five times in the past week. A day. <laughs> five times a day in a week? Or which one? Pick it up. <laughs> five times a day. I don't think she understands time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, it really Bullshit. hasn't, there's no repercussions. You don't make us do anything. So you mean that I decided to change my eating habits drastically and so I decided to change my eating habits. You can't put your arm. Ah! I know. Ah! Okay. I know. Can you edit that out? Yeah. <laughs> all, all I'm really doing with our family video is taking all the weird shit coming at the end. Oh my god. So, you mean that I... So, uh, let, let me just ask this question this way. So, how many meals do we make at night when we make dinner? One. One. So, we're not, we don't have to worry about making extra meals for everyone to have the food that they want? No. no. Okay. Um... <laughs> So, as far as me changing my lifestyle, it hasn't complicated anything any more than a normal meal at dinner time. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Um, so, what do you think is going to be the hardest part of this whole meal plan for the next 19 days, give or take? I gotta keep eating her leftovers. <laughs> Finding food that you can eat. Hmm. You can't just go to the grocery store and buy you something. So if someone were to present you with the argument, they couldn't um, diet because their family would suffer. What would you guys say as, as the family of somebody who's doing a extreme diet? Because I am doing an extreme diet. It is extremely devoid of anything that's not a meat source. What would you say to them? It's not very hard. Hmm. And, and the things that I've restricted you guys from having because of my diet? Nothing. Hmm, interesting. So what you're saying, if I'm if I'm to understand this correctly, is using your family as an excuse to not eat right is bullshit? Yes. Hmm. Is there anything you'd like to share with the nice people at home? Do I need to leave the room so you can like signal for help? Yes, goodbye. <laughs> blink, blink twice for help. SOS. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't a real smile. <laughs> <laughs> We're dying on the inside. She's dead. I'm just gonna. She's dead on the outside. I'm just gonna pack up my bags and go. The end. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I didn't even hate you. It wasn't you, it was Echo. I feel like I could just turn the camera on and just point it at you two, and this would be entertaining for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what was your question? <laughs> so, from a from a difficulty standpoint, um, how since it's not hard for you guys to adhere to this, what would you say to people who want to hide behind their family as the reason why they can't change their lifestyle or change their nutrition? Now, keep in mind this is phase one. So, the next phase will be a ketogenic diet. 
The phase after that will be a paleo diet. The next I phase feel like after I should that, do the point thing and then you could add it. That's fine. You do that. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And then once we get done with that side, I could do this side. Why don't you just point to the center and then I could just change the word. <laughs> I liked her idea better, but okay. It's too late. We're out. Okay. okay. What would we say to them? Yeah. <laughs> what would you say? Uh, it's not very hard. Family doesn't really care. We don't care. I think most families don't care, but I think most people make it too complicated. Like, they hear all these stories from other people, and they don't just break it down into... You make one meal, and then you eat what you need to eat from that meal, and that meal is based off of that. And then if your kids are picky eaters, chances are it's because you let them be picky eaters for a really long time. And you have to take them outside of their comfort zone. If they don't like it, it's kind of like when I was a kid. What's made is made. If you don't eat it, you go to bed hungry. Then you eat the white bread. So you see something interesting there. Um... Their kids are picky eaters because they let them be picky eaters. So you mean to tell me that you believe that a child will eat the food that they're given unless you allow them to be picky? Yeah, I mean, most kids don't know what they like when they're born. Like, you feed them up until a certain age. No, so, I knew exactly what I liked right now. <laughs> do I think kids can taste something and then they'll make a face that they don't like it? Yes, but that's them trying it and then making a face showing that they truly don't like whatever it is you gave them. But if you're just a person who's like me, I don't like a lot of fruits and vegetables, so I probably wouldn't give my kid a lot of fruits and vegetables because I personally don't eat them, but really... That's like the worst thing you could do. That's probably why I don't like a lot of fruits and vegetables. I like fruits and vegetables. So what you're saying is you're actually in control of what your children will eat? Yeah, you're yeah. in control of everything your kids do. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. You no. are the control. No, no, that can't be right. It's I mean, 100% correct. Yeah. I've uh -huh. checked it. Facts. Library books, Echo Google, approved. Wikipedia, Wikipedians. I mean, there's a whole thread. Echo approved, Rocky, Rebel, Rogue, all of them. True story. So what you're saying, you, if I understand correctly, is that making like five meals, one for your husband, one for your wife, one for your kids, would be bullshit because they could just eat what's put in front of them? I mean, if you're doing it right. <laughs> if you're parenting right. Who has enough time to make five different meals? <sighs> Stay at the home, The same moms. people who don't have time <laughs> to go to the gym. Huh, that's, that's really interesting. I, uh, I guess I never would have thought about that way, that if you put food in front of a child and they don't eat it, you just don't give them another option as to what they would eat. That's, that's very peculiar. Very peculiar. Oh, um, and about, just out of curiosity, how often do I make you cook things that you don't want to eat? Well, there was that one time that you made liver. <laughs> but you ate it, by the way. <laughs> yeah. And you enjoyed it, by the way. No, I didn't. That, that's definitely not true. So but you, I ate it, because it was there. And you lied to me then? I didn't lie to you. You said you enjoyed it. I told you I didn't like it. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and then you made me eat it. Mm -hmm. To your point exactly. <laughs> you weren't making anything else, and I was hungry. <laughs> well, there's that. There's that. But then also, in... Well, I know Rocky's <laughs> our life. In my defense, that wasn't during the carnivore thing. That was no, but a year to ago. your point, it was made. It was there, and then I ate it because I was hungry. So since this carnivore thing has started, how many times have I made you cook food or made food that you didn't want to eat? Well, none, because I've made all your food. It's <laughs> not true. I've made the bulk of your food. Yeah, fair enough. Mm. I also make sausage. You lost, or you made sausage. And I said, I watched you make it. Oh, you watched me make sausage, too. And I made hard boiled eggs. And then I ate them. That's true. Is there anything else we would like to add to the nice people at home who, uh, you know, can't get off their asses and start any meal plan because their family's in the way? Um, you can come join ours. If you have enough time to make five different meals, you have enough time to go to a gym. Oh. <laughs> About. On that note, we'll be back. <laughs> We'll be back next week. <laughs>